Hello guys! So today our topic is Laboratory Activity 7 Preparation of Solution. So our focus today is the computation of molarity. Okay? So guys, I need your dedication. Kailangan mag-practice kayo. Okay? So there are many sample problems in the internet. Okay? But I'll give you many examples today. So, simulan natin. So, first, so, our goal is to prepare solutions, okay? So, you have to know what are solutions first, hindi ba? So, solutions are is a system in which one or more substances are homogeneously mixed. Yan, pag sinabi natin homogeneous, it looks like it has only one uh, one phase, yan. So, mukhang solid lang. Solid lang yung solution. Or liquid lang yung solution. Walang, uh, walang, walang halong solid. Okay? Or gaseous lang yung solution. Homogeneous. Okay? So, pag two or more phases yung nakikita, ang tawag doon, heterogeneous. Okay? Or dissolved in another substance. One or more substance dissolve in another substance. Magbigay nga tayong example. So guys, so your solution is a system. So may characters involved. Merong solute plus solvent equals the solution or a homogeneous mixture. Yan. So your solute are your dissolved substances. So yung uh Sigabihin natin, usually solids. Yan, usually lang ah. And dissolving agent. Example, liquid. Yan. So, kunyari, example is sea water or aqueous solution. Ito yung pinaka-common example ng isang solution. So, when we say aqueous solution, ang ginamit na solvent is water and solute is anything that could dissolve in water. So, example is salt water or sea water wherein, hindi ba, NaCl is dissolved in uh, water. Yun, H2O. Yan, so salt water. However, ang mga homogeneous mixture, hindi lang liquid. Okay? So, air. So, in air, there are many gaseous substances. Example, oxygen, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, hydrogen. Yan. Those are the components of air. We have brass. So, brass is solid. However, in, in a brass, it's, co it's composed of uh, nickel, cap, copper, yan, metals. So, tama ko ha. <laughs> Bisa ko makalimot. So, next, soft drinks, guys. So, soft drinks is liquid. Yan. However, para magkaroon ng fizz, andun yung carbon dioxide. Diba? Homogeneous yun. Liquid pa rin yun. Pero, nadesolve sila ng carbon dioxide. We have 70% alcohol. So, alcohol is also liquid. And it was dissolved in water. Yan. So, that it will have a concentration of 70% percent yan specifically ethanol di ba ginagamit natin so today ang main topic natin is molarity which is represented by a big m yan so guys common ang molarity for indicating the concentration of a substance very common okay so it's very important na matutunan natin ngayong araw and hopefully this is only a review okay so hindi tayo sobrang clueless about moles per liter siguro nakalimutan lang pero pag pinaalala maalala correct so basically guys molarity is the number of moles per liter of a solution. Yan. So, pag sinabi kasi nating number of moles, it's a measure of number of substances. So, mahalaga yun para sa mga chemist. Okay? So, yun lang. Moles per liter of solution. Or, moles per liter. Yan. Or, molarity is equal to moles per liter. Yan. So, yan ang molarity. ba? It looks very simple. So, example, nakakita ka ng 2M NaOH or 2 molar solution of NaOH or 2 molarity of NaOH. This means that there are 2 moles 
of NaOH per liter of water. Yan. So, parang in-expand lang natin. So, pag nakakita ka ng 2M, pwede mo siyang gami gawing 2 moles per liter. Okay? I'm telling you this na pwedeng i-represent ng ganyan kasi it could be a conversion factor. So, pwede mong gaming 2 moles per liter or in every 1 liter, there is 2 moles. So, pwede siyang maging conversion factor. Ha? So, <laughs> so, ano lang, so, huwag kayong malilito, parang, ha? Biklang nagaganyan-ganyan si ma'am. So, pwede siya maging conversion factor, just to tell you now. So, ito, now, ito, common to, 11 moles of hydrochloric acid. So, meaning, there are 11 moles of HCl per liter of water. So, pwede mo na namang i-represent na 11 mole per liter. Every 11 mole of hydrochloric acid per liter of water or liter per 11 mole. Okay? So, yung mole, M-O-L. Ang shortcut. <laughs> Sabi ng classmate ko, ano ka ba isang letter na lang? I na lang. <laughs> Pero, yan. Okay, yan na shortcut. Okay? So, guys, dito tayo. So, medyo marami na nakasulat. So, kung i-represent natin sa isang pyramid, so, ito yan. Molarity, is equal to moles per liter. So, ganyan yan. So, molarity. So, pag ang hinahanap molarity, moles over liter. So, pag ang hinahanap moles later on, simply multiply the molarity times liter. Correct? So, pag ang hinahanap naman liter, divide the moles over the molarity. Okay? So, ito yung components na dapat e eh, kuhang-kuha nyo. Okay? So, moles, ma'am. So, ito yung molarity, ba? So, your molarity, pwede siyang i-represent na mole per liter. Ayan nga, mole per liter. So, itong liter, yan, nakalagay dito, always, always check that ml is converted to liters, okay? So, in the problems that we will encounter later on, so, syempre, pahirapan ko naman kayo, mayroong mga ml, okay? So, you could convert it into liters, okay? So, example, diba, may nagbigay ng may 0.5 liters, yan. So, kung ayaw nyo na ng ay, sorry. So, is equal to 500 ml. Yan. Sorry. Mali-mali. Anyway. So, in, in 1 liter, there is 1,000 ml. Yan. So, pwedeng maging conversion factor to, hindi ba? So, 1 liter over 1,000 ml or 1,000 ml per liter. So, nasa sa inyo yon So, kung naka-ml naka yung liter, yan. So, please, sinasabi ko na sa inyo, i-convert nyo na ng liter. Okay. So, naka-ML, i-convert nyo na ng liter. So, every 1 liter, there is 1,000 ml. So, ito yung conversion factor. So, pwede natin isingit sa equation natin para makuha yung, uh, para makonvert yung ml into liter. Okay? So, just take note. Next, moles. Yan. Ito yung challenging. Kasi, minsan, Eh, hinahanap grams per solute. Parang gano'n. However, bago tayo, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, paano ba kinukuha ang moles per solute? So, grams per solute over molar mass. Yan. So, um, basic siya kung nabigay na yung number of moles. Okay? Or, nabigay na yung, or minsan, ang hinahanap nga, gram of solute. So, molar mass is... Uh, always given, okay? It's always given in such a way na i-compute mo, okay? Lagi mo siyang mahanap. So, how to get the molar mass of, example, glucose. Glucose is C6H12O6. Yan. So, una, ikukuha mo lang yung atomic mass, okay? Not atomic number. Atomic mass ng carbon, ng hydrogen, at oxygen. Kasi nga, yun yung uh, hinahanap. So, carbon is 12.0107. So, kinuha ko yung uh, four decimal places. Hydrogen, 1.007. 
15.994 sa oxygen. Okay? Then, multiply it by the number of carbon. So, anim yung carbon. Hydrogen, 12. Oxygen, 6. Yan. So, 12 times 6. Ito, 72. Yan. 1 times 12. Ito, 12.084. 6 times 15.994. Yan. So, kung gusto nyo, i-compute nyo na lang sa sa calculator ng derecho. Okay? So, wala munang mag-round off. So, always get the four decimal places. So, sa quiz or sa exam, para mas mapadali, bibigay ko na lang yung atomic uh, weight nila. Okay? Pero, kayo magkocompute compute ng molar mass. Okay? So, guys, kung molar, ayan, molar mass, laging, ano yan, laging, mong, laging available para sa atin yan. Okay? So, minsan, ang X ang nawawala, gram of solute. Okay? So, alam nyo na ha, gumawa ng molar mass. So, simply get the atomic weight. Yan, tapos multiply it by the number. Yan. So, kunyari kung H2O H H2O. Yan. So, 1.007 times 2. O, isa lang times 1. Yun lang pag mo. Okay? So, please. So, if you want to get, the, if the molarity is missing, so, it's moles per, sol, per liter. So, how to get moles? It's gram solute per molar mass. Okay? Ang unit ng molar mass, guys, is gram per mole. Okay? So, guys, Ito, it could be also a conversion factor. So, you could represent it as 180.1446 gram per mole or yan, 1 mole over 180.1446 gram. Okay, just a heads up. Uh -huh. Yan. So, Ayun. So, parang nakakaano na kayo ng mga conversion-conversion factor para hindi kayo nagugulat na pwede silang maging conversion factor. So, gram per mole, mole per gram. Ayan. So, let's move on to our first problem. Ayan. Dito tayo. Ayan. So, example problem. So, first, so, what is the molarity of a solution by dissolving 5 moles of NaOH and enough water to make 3.5 liter of solution. So, hindi ba is molarity is equal to moles over liter. So, 5 moles and 3.5 liter. Okay? So, direct, ano lang, conversion. So, molarity. So, ek, the missing one is molarity. So, moles over liter. So, since direct, ano lang, conversion. So, yan. 5 moles NaOH over 3.5 liter yan is 1.4286 molarity or molar solution. So, doon lang tayo sa huli nag magra-round off ha. So, 1.43 molar solution of NaOH. Yan. Basic. Yan. So, pahirap ng pahirap. What is the molarity of a solution containing 1.4 mole of acetic acid in 250 liter solution. Ayan. So, meron tayong mole. Pero, naka ML. Okay, naka ML to. So, simply convert nyo lang itong 250 ML in 2 liter. Ayan. Or, you could uh, yon. So, 1.4 divided by 250 divided by 1000 0.25 Yun na yun. Pero, para maayos tayo, gawin yung conversion factor. Okay? So, molarity, moles over liter, equals, simply, lagay nyo lang, 1.40 mole over 250 ml. Yan. So, naglagay ako ng conversion factor. Remember, yung conversion factor natin? Yan. In every 1 liter, there is 1,000 ml. Now, you could now cancel. Yan. Para mole per liter na lang ang matira for molarity. So, 5.6 mole per liter or 5.6 molar solution of acetic acid. Okay. So, naglagay lang tayo ng conversion factor. So, make sure nyo na makakancel yung ML. Okay. Piliin nyo yung conversion factor na makakancel yung 
ml. Para maging mole per liter. Okay? So, next. How many grams of KOH? O, oh, sabi ko sa inyo eh. Minsan grams yung ma mawala. Are required to prepare 0.6 liters. Okay, good liter. Of 0.450 molar solution of KOH or molarity KOH. Okay? So, what's missing is gram of solute. So, itong gram of solute, kailangan to, hindi ba, para mahanap mo yung moles. Okay? So, what we're going to do, ito, lungkat muna. So, hindi ba, molarity equals to moles over liter. Paano kuli ng moles? ba? Diba? Gram solute over molar mass. All over liter. Okay? So, i ano ko lang, in-expound ko lang. So, itong liter, gusto kong ilagay dito. Dito. Yan. So, para mangyari yon kailangan mo lang i-reciprocal. Okay? So, gram solute over molar mass times 1 lit 1 over liter. Okay? So, hindi ba ito liter over 1? So, i-reciprocal mo lang. Tataas lang ito sa numerator. 1 over Liter. Hindi ba ganyan? Pag nag-de-divide, nag nagre-reciprocal. ba Sa fractions. Okay. So, molarity is gram solute over molar mass times liter. Okay. Gram solute, molarity is gram solute molar mass times liter. Eh, ang kailangan nga natin, gram, sorry, 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 sorry. Yan. Yeah. Na-out of Pala. So, ito, gram of solute over molar mass times liter. So, para kunin natin yung gram solute, so, molarity times molar mass times liter. Yan. You know. Taas mo lang doon. So, molam. Algebra. Molarity times molar mass times liter. O, yan. So, hindi ba ang molarity, we represent it with moles per liter. Ang molar mass, ito, kailangan mong isolve ang KO, molar mass niya. Hindi ba ang molar mass is gram per mole? Gram per mole. Yan, tama. Para ma-cancel yung matama siya. Gram per mole. Ang pipiliin natin, ano, hindi mole per gram. N times, yan, liter. Yan. So, paano natin kunin yung molar mass? So, kunin mo yung K. KOH. So, times 1 lang naman lahat. Okay. So, 39.09083 ang at atomic mass ng potassium or atomic weight. Oxygen, 15.999. Hydrogen, 1.0007. Yan. So, pag pina-add, 56.1043 gram per mole. So, hindi pa ako nag-round off. Okay. Sa huli na lang. So, what's the given? Molarity. Ayan o. No? For 0.4550 mol molarity or mole per liter. Correct. Diba? So, next, molar mass, yun, 56, 10, 43 per gram per mole and 0.6 liter. Yan. So, malaya na tayong mag cancel Cancel, cancel mole, cancel liter. Ayan. Natira, eh, grams. Yan. So, co compute 0.450 times 56.1043 times 0.6 equals 15.1482. grams KOH. Yan. So, that's the final answer. Okay. So, please practice makes perfect. Okay. So, parang tabing na pala. O, screenshot nyo na guys. Okay, next. Yan. So, baka gusto nyo pang i-screenshot yung one dito. Yan, tabi-tabingi pala ako. Okay. Next, guys. Yan, dito tayo. So, what volume of 0.250 molar solution can be prepared from 16 grams of K2CO3? So, meron tayong 16 grams. ba ang grams, it's used to compute for moles. So, kulang na lang yung molar mass. So, kailangan na naman natin computein yung molar mass nito. 
molarity, present naman. So, yung liter ang hinahanap. So, liter, hindi ba? Moles over molarity. Ayan. So, kung naalala nyo dito sa pyramid natin, ayan. liter is, is equals to moles over molarity. Ayan. So, expand lang natin. So, gram solute over molar mass. Diba? All over molarity, which we could represent with mole per liter. Ayan. So, inano ko lang. I-reciprocal mo lang. Ayan. Liter over mole. Gram solute over molar mass. Ayan. Ang unit niya, di ba? Gram per mole. Ayan. So, basta magkocompute ng liter, pwede mo na itong gamitin. Always. So, the gram of solute which is given, 16. Yung molar mass, so, yung grams, since mole per gram, so, ayan o, gram per mole dito, di ba? Mole, kasi, para makancel. So, take note lang, ha? And, liter over mole. So, kailangan mag, re, kailangan niyang mag-reciprocal, okay? So, ito, pwede mo siyang itaas. Ayan. Kasi, di ba, nakadivide. So, pwede mo, i pwede mo namang isi-reciprocal. Mole per gram. Correct? Correct, correct. So, this one represents the given uh, grams. This one will represent the molar mass. Dito mo ilalagay yung grams, ha. Ayan. And, this will represent the solution. Ayan. So, mole per liter. So, nabaliktad rin to. Take note. So, dito mo ilalagay yung mole. Okay? 0.250 mole per liter. Correct? So, told you, it could be a conversion factor. You will do this in such a way na makancel out mo yung mole. Yan. Makancel out mo yung gram. Ang matitira lang eh, liter. Okay? So, to double check kung tama yung ginagawa nyo, dapat nakakancel nyo, naiiwan yung what is um, asked for. So, Always, yan, you have to compute for the molar mass. Ito lang medyo matagal. So, K2. So, potassium is 39.0983 times 2. Ito yung sagot. K2C. Yan, isa lang naman na carbon. O3. Yan. So, the molar mass is 138.2036. Yan. So, punta mo na dito. So, the gram. The gram of given is 16 gram. Ang gagamitin nating dito, conversion factor, eh, dapat mole per gram. So, 1, one mole over 138.20.36. Yan. So, para makancel natin yung gram. And here, yan, ang gagamitin natin, conversion factor, syempre, dapat yung makancel mo yung mole. Yan. So, ito galing dito. ba? When we say molarity, hindi ba? Mole per liter. Meaning, there is 0.250 moles of K2CO3 per liter of water. Hindi ba? Yung first activity natin. So, please, ayun o. Diba? Diba? Told you, told ya. Yan. So, huwag nyo kakalimutan. Nasaan na tayo? Yan. So, compute, compute. Yan. Double check nyo nga yung sagot ko. Double check ko naman. So, hindi <laughs> ko na lang alam. So, 0.4631. So, doon na lang sa huli tayo mag-round off. 0.46. Okay. So, fifth. Calculate the number of moles of HNO3. So, moles ang missing in 3 to 5 ml of 16 molar HNO3. Yan. So, present yung molarity, present yung volume, however, naka-ML lang, and present naman yung mole. So, no need to compute for the molar mass. Yay! Okay? So, missing is yung moles. Yan. Calculate the number of moles. Ah, okay. So, yun, nawawala lang pala yung moles. Yan. So, no need to compute for Molar mass. Yan. Ito na yung... Ano niya. So, guys. Ito, moles is equal to molarity times liter. Yan. Hindi ba? Mole over liter. Yan. Moles times 
molarity times liter. Yan. No, wala convert mo lang. Given naman yung molarity, 16 molar. Or you could represent as 16 moles per liter. Correct. Correct. Diba? Diba? Correct, correct. Diba yung HCl natin? 11 molar. So, 11 mole per liter. Yan. Ito naging ano lang, nitric acid. So, yan. 16 moles per liter. Nalagyan ko lang ng conversion factor. So, use the conversion factor that you could cancel out the liters. You could cancel out the ml. So, kung ayaw nyo, kung nalilito kayo sa pag-add ng conversion factor, simply divide. Diba? Kahit hiwalay na lang. So, 3 to 5 divided by 1,000. So, so 16 times 0.325. Diba? Kung nalilito kayo. Pero kasi mas maganda kung ganyan pinipresent. Okay? So, moles is equal to 5.2 mole of nitric acid. Okay? So, ayan. And finally, so balikan natin. Ito, if a student has 35 grams of ferric chloride and needs needs to make a 1.5 molar solution or M with it, what will be the volume of the solution? Yan. So, ang nawawala eh, liter. Yan. Yan. So, pwede nyong kunin yung yung ginamit natin sa taas. Yan. So, liter is equal to gram solute times mole over gram. So, ito yung molar mass times liter per mole. Yan. Yung ginawa natin pagkahaba-haba kanina. Yan. So, kinopya ko na lang. to So, gram solute times mole mole per gram. Yan. Mole per gram times liter per mole. Yan. So, gram per solute, ito, 35 gram given. Itong molar mass, yan, 1 mole per 162.204 gram. Yan. Per mole. Yan. So, notice, ginamit ko yung conversion na nasa taas yung mole. Okay, nasa baba yung gram. So, FeCl3. So, ito yung sa iron, times 1 lang siya. Tapos, chloride, 35.453 times 3. Okay? So, please guys, please, practice. Okay? Ang hirap ng problem solving pag di mo ginagawa. And, this is the total amount. Okay? So, nilagay ko lang. 5 grams. So, gram, cancel, cancel. Mole, cancel, cancel. So, 35 times 1 times 1 divided by 162.204 times 1.5 liter. Or, or, ganito na lang muna. I-times nyo muna tong 162.204 times 1.5. Yan. Tapos, kunin yung sagot. Huwag nyo i-round off. 35. 35 divided by yung, yung product. Okay, so guys, please, minsan nadadali sa MDAS. So, multiply muna, tapos divide. Ayan. Di pag nyo 162, yan, I hope na alam nyo na mag, <laughs> please, mag-work kayo with your groupmates together. So, 35 times 1 times 1 divided by, parenthesis, 162.204 times 1.5 parenthesis. Okay, please, huwag kalimutan yung mga parenthesis kung di iba yung sagot. So, the answer is 0.1439 liter or 0.14 liter. Okay, so please, mag-practice. So, that's it for today. Sayonara. Good night.